After all this, to be left in a state like that? Careful now, careful. Don't move too quickly. Everything's fine, you're safe. You're in the Citadel. I was starting to think you might never wake up, despite assurances to the contrary. I've been coming down here every day to see both you and my daughter. It's good that at least one of you has recovered. Hey, um, welcome back guys, and today we'll be doing Fallout 3 Broken Steel DLC Part 1. Now, um, basically if you guys don't know this DLC, it's basically like sort of Part 2 to the Fallout 3 campaign. Now. What this is kind of about is, it's kind of like us finishing off the Enclave. Now, the remnants have just been scattered across the wasteland, and we need to, um, we need to defeat the Enclave for good. That's what this DLC is about, and, um, yeah, so if you didn't see my last episode, that was the final episode of the main, like, um, the main campaign, part one. This is kind of like the Broken Steel DLC, so part two of campaign. Also, we've got Point Lookout. Operation Anchorage, the pit, and then Mothership Zeta. So those are the next DLCs I'll be doing. But this is episode one of Broken Steel. So uh, yeah, what should we respond with? Uh, where's Sarah? Is she okay? Yes, yes. She's fine. Oh, she will be. I appreciate your concern for her, but really don't worry. You've been through enough. What's going on? It's all right, you're safe now. You're in the Citadel. There was some sort of energy spike as the purifier started. You and Sarah were knocked unconscious and brought here to the infirmary. We've been watching over the two of you for days. I'm glad to see it's paid off. Did we win? Did we beat the Enclave? Yes, we most certainly did. Between your help in destroying their headquarters, and their subsequent defeat at the Purifier, the Enclave was thrown into disarray. Liberty Prime has been assisting our forces in removing any remaining Enclave forces. How long was I out? Just about two weeks. Don't worry, we've been taking good care of you. So, what happens now? Well, that's really up to you, isn't it? The Brotherhood has a clear plan of action. The remnants of the Enclave must be swept away. The Pride has been working to this end ever since we took the Purifier back. The only remaining question is whether we can count on you to help us. Is there any way I can help? Indeed. We can use every able body available to us. To that end, I'm going to circumvent our standard recruitment procedures and declare you a Knight of the Brotherhood of Steel. Before you do anything else, please speak with Scribe Rothschild. I'm sure he'll be pleased to see you again. He can brief you on the details of the last few weeks, as well as where our efforts are focused now. I understand that you've been through quite an ordeal. The sooner you can talk to him, the sooner we can put an end to all this. Okay, so 1,200 XP. Nice. Quest completed, take it back. Oh, I've also completed the Project, Pure, Project Impurity quest as well. What's going on with the Purifier? The Brotherhood has taken over control of the Purifier and is managing distribution of the water to the people of the Wasteland. If you travel there, speak with Scribe Bigsley. He's heading up the on-site operation. What else can you tell me about the fight against the Enclave? As you know, I had my reservations about engaging the Enclave. They did not directly attack us, and I believed we had time. 
Time to be cautious. Their assault on the purifier forced our hand. We had no choice but to engage them directly. And once that engagement was begun, we could do nothing but see it through to the end. If they had not considered us a threat before, they do now. So we have spent the time since you and I last spoke, systematically locating and destroying every bastion of Enclave force we can. Liberty Prime has proven far more successful than any of us could have hoped for. Alright, I have to go now. Please be careful. I would hate to lose you again. Okay, so um what's in this safe? Wow, well, um yeah, I forgot. I'm not good at these types of locks. There we are. Free stim packs, radex, medex. Yeah, um Aquapura. I don't really like Aquapura. Alright, um, let's get going. With all due haste. Let's go. Alright, so I did give him some stuff that um, I wanted to sell, but I'll do that later. Right, so what's our objectives? Our objective is to speak with Scribe Rothschild, which I will do right now. I think Scribe Rothschild should be somewhere up here. Hail. Yeah, maybe in the um, courtyard. Well, it's good to see that you're on your feet again. I assume Lyons is immediately throwing you to the wolves? Has he told you what's been going on while you've been resting? I've learnt a little bit, but was hoping you could tell me more. Yes, I believe I can. Step over here for a moment, will you? Alright. Wants us to come over here, doesn't he? I'll give you a brief history of what's happened over the last few weeks and what's going on now. As you well know, this all began with the Enclave's occupation of Project Purity here. Thanks to you, their main headquarters here was utterly destroyed. They then suffered a second defeat at the Purifier. Based on a combination of intelligence and field reports, other Enclave locations throughout the Wasteland were found. Cut off from their leadership, it was expected that their forces would be in complete disarray. This has not been the case. Based on data and tech gathered from these locations, we've determined that the Enclave forces are still maintaining remote communications. We isolated the transmissions and found their origin point, an old military installation in Rockland, to the southwest. Our advanced scouts have checked over the area, but no easy access to the facility was found. So we're making our own access point. Paladin Tristan is leading the team setting up forward base in an old car tunnel near the site. Once he's settled, Liberty Prime will be deployed. Prime's directive is to neutralize their defenses and create an entry point for the team. The team will move in, eliminate any opposition inside, and cut off their transmitter. Any relevant data should be brought back here. Now, did you have any other questions? If there's anything else you'd like to know, I'll tell you what I can. Otherwise, Paladin Tristan will be waiting. I'll alert him that you're on your way. Um, how is Liberty Prime holding up? 
performance is exceeding all our expectations. He's been especially effective against the Enclave's vertebrates, for which we previously had no counter. We are fine-tuning his programming as we go, but on the whole, I'm pleasantly surprised. It's as I always suspected. Prime's real issue was energy management. And when Dr. Lee helped us solve that problem, well, <laughs> the rest was easy. Care to share anything about the super mutants? Not really. No. Uh, <laughs> um, what's going on with the purifier? It was determined that the Brotherhood should directly oversee the purifier, as so as to prevent any mishaps. Scribe Bigsley was placed in charge of the operation and is directly overseeing our efforts. Do you think you could repair my equipment? Could I? Yes. Will I? No. Go see Peabody or Bowditch. I have to go now. And so you go. Alright, so now we have to... Meet Paladin Tristan at the Rockland Cardinal, so we'll go there. Actually, I forgot to go get the plasma rifle or something from over here, didn't I? Yeah, I was gonna tear these power armor and stuff when I. What have you got on your mind? Yes, by all means, let's. Oh yeah. I'll try and see if I can sell a few stuff later on, but for now, I'll just I'll just go do my objectives. Almost level 20 now. Yeah, this DLC it raises like the um, max level to um, 30. So now we have up to level 30 to go. Oh, and the nearest place is the Dunwich building. Which, as you all know guys, is quite a creepy place to go. So we'll have to go to Dunwich in order to get to this place. Alright. Death claws. Right, keep heading towards here. And whoa. Yeah, that's a trap. No. Nope. Run. God, um, I don't like them baby traps. Yeah, some people actually get scared of them baby traps and all. Like, when I first found out about them, like, I was like... Whoa, that was scary ass. You need, a, you need like, 60 explosives in order to kill them. I like, disarm them. I really should make, like, Fox store a lot of stuff. Yeah, I also need dog meat as well. I think I, I, think I left him at, like, Vault 101. Oh, I think he might have died. I can't remember. But, anyways, here we are. Have like a thousand fusion cells now. I'm not so near. I got quite a few micro fusion cells and about five, six rounds. Um, what else? 
also some more assault rifle stuff. I'm gonna keep moving. Well, well, look who's back amongst the living. Some of us were starting to wonder if you and Sarah were going to pull through. Good to see you too. I'm here to help. Is that so? Well, it'll be good to have another soldier we can count on. Basic rule of thumb on these operations. Keep your head down and let the robot do most of the heavy lifting. He can take it better than you can. Okay, I'm ready to go. All right. You stay back with me and keep safe. Once we've reached the facility, we'll talk about who does what. Until then, we do this by the numbers. Same strategy has worked just fine for the last two weeks. Let's get moving. Things should be underway by now. All right, I think they've like, got some enclave stuff here, aren't they? So. Trying to see how the ammo works. Positions, go in and burn them out. Hey, be, be more careful. Actually, no, I'll just do whatever I want and I won't be careful, thanks. <laughs> the tin can this fallout. You don't listen to NPCs. Or if you're me, you'll listen to NPCs and do whatever you want. At the exact same time. Hmm. What's here? Um, normally they carry plasma rifles, don't they? But instead, no. I'll just collect loads of energy cells that I really don't use. It's like one moment you want an ammo type, then the other you just don't really care about it. So now let's head through here. There's Libby Prime. Whoa, this is loud. Democracy is not negotiable. He'll do all the work for us, guys. Satellite uplink detected. <laughs> oh, Fox has died. Here, is there any way I can get him back? No. Oh, that's a fox ladder. Right. I'll pick all that stuff up later. And I'll try and get it because I really don't want to lose some of that stuff. But, wow, um, I've lost two followers in one playthrough. How bad is that? I really, I really do not care about them guys, do I? Whoa. 
and also Liberty Prime has died too. At least he died for democracy. What the hell just happened? There's no time to talk. Get your ass inside that base and help the troops locate the source of their transmission. Now, soldier, now! What am I looking for? I don't know. I don't know. Terminals, data, anything that can help us figure out what just happened and where it came from. Get all this letter. Well, damn. There goes, um, Liberty Prime. I really did like him. But, he has to go to heaven, along with all the other pre-war soldiers. Or wherever robots go after they die. I don't know. Whoa. I really don't know what to do without Fox or dog meat. Might just go and look for some other follower that'll die. I might actually go get Butch. I can give him like power armor into the car. Also, I got that um, Colonel Autumn's pistol as well. So that's pretty good. Um, yeah. Hopefully we should find this computer, or whatever we need to look for. Yeah, I remember playing it. It was like a little data thing that we need to get. Whoa. Yeah, I really, I really do think that my favourite weapon in the game probably going to be the plasma rifle. I think, I think it's so effective against the enemies. Even, I think it's even better than the Gatling laser. Because 
of how accurate it is. Right, we're going all the way down here now. Whoa. So we're now down here. And what are we gonna do? Um, what are we gonna look for? But they've now been reduced to living in all these like little slums, haven't they? Or on cliff. I know it sounds weird, but I actually do like the on cliff. I would, I would like playing. This. I think that'd be cool. Alright, we're almost on 1,300 microfusion cells. I really want to go for that flame, but I don't feel like um, I've actually got any damage taken off the Bear Master. Actually, yeah, I really do need that, actually. And Tesla armor's worth quite a bit as well. Right, we're getting pretty close now. I think it's right in this room. Satellite uplink terminal. Update standing orders. Request new data. Download new data. Dever uplink. There we are. Love the data. Describe Rothschild. All right, that's our next objective. Come on out and let Right, we'll just keep making our way up here. Right, and there we are. Now all we need to do is to go back to Scribe Rothschild and give him this information or whatnot.
Alright, let's go inside and give it to him. Galaxy News Radio is nearly secure. I just... I can't believe it! All those years of work, all of it! For what? One botched operation? I'm still waiting on the debriefing from Tristan, but... I'm not sure it even matters. With Prime gone... It could have been worse. They could have attacked the Citadel. Well, there's certainly nothing stopping them from doing that now, is there? And with our primary defense gone, I don't know what we can do to stop them. I need more to work with. I found some encrypted data at the relay station. Ah, yes. Well, I'll see if we can't figure out how to read it. Perhaps it can give us some insight as to just what happened out there. It would be good to salvage something from this mess. Thank you for bringing this to me. I believe Elder Lyons will want to speak with you as well. Perhaps you should find him. He's right Can next to you. <laughs> I trust you've spoken with Rothschild. I hope he can make some headway with the data you've recovered. With our primary weapon destroyed, we risk losing our momentum and jeopardizing the entire campaign. I must admit, I now wonder whether moving ahead with this operation was an error in judgment. Well, it's too late to turn back now. You're right, which is precisely my concern. We have pushed the Enclave, and now it seems they're pushing back, much harder than we expected. If we cannot identify and neutralize this new threat, we have little hope for success. It's already cost us our greatest weapon. We have to keep fighting them. We can't back down now. Very true. And to that end, I'd like you to speak with Paladin Tristan. He's requested you for a special assignment. One that could prove vital to our success. Alright, I think I've leveled up. I have to go now. Of course. Alright, so... I'm thinking we should max out our speech. And then, um... I'd really like the Explorer pack, because it reveals every single thing on the map, which is one of the things I need. Right, so this has been episode one of Welcome. Fallout Free Broken Steel DLC. Now, I hope you guys have enjoyed. Please like, comment, and subscribe, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.